Pakistani coming from India but since 20 years I'm in Paraguay before becoming provincial okay I came in the year 1994 uh, in the first five years I worked as the occasion promoter uh, and retreat preacher for the for the country with other congregation then in the year 2000 I went to Rome and I pursued my degree in doctor in psychology when I came back in the year 2005 and to five I was made a promoter for the theologians in Asuncion and the same year I was made provincial treasurer of the province which I held till 2011 and 2011 I was uh, okay appointed as the super provincial or the coordinator of the province to talk about Paraguay. Paraguay is a country of seven to eight million people. And we are here in Paraguay since 103 years. About 1909 or 10 we came to Paraguay. And to add a note to this, that our founder himself wrote a letter and sent the missionaries to Paraguay before his death. So it is the last mission that founder himself sent missionary to Paraguay. Well, we are about 78 uh, conferences in Paraguay, altogether 92, uh, from 26 countries. We are engaged in parish ministries for about 26 parishes and five schools, colleges, big colleges. In fact, we have two agriculture schools for the poor, for the downtrodden, for the indigenous people. We are working with, mostly with the poor people, with indigenous people, and uh, through our parish work, through our college, with education, and through dimension. We have a very big and rich history where people know who we are, they love the divine world missionaries, and they are very grateful to what we have done in the country. Wherever we go, people talk about us, and they are our main inspiration in our missionary work. If we talk, if you want to know something about Paraguay, it's a, not a rich country, neither a poor country, a lot of corruption, and a lot of deforestation, and uh, most of the land is owned by the military and the rich people. Our task is right now from the religious conference, also from Bishop, is how to bring down the inequality between the rich and the poor.